today's a special day guys because today in Leesburg our town the town I live in there's an awesome car show going down but so a little bit of background before we get to the car show itself which is what I'm driving around I'm doing a couple of errands before I go to the show um, but yeah a little bit of background I mean Ishmael and I both are JDM friends. I think we can uh, establish that we are into our Japanese cars. Um, but both of us really got our start through our dads, through our our grandparents, through our, our other relatives, um, many of which were into uh, old school American muscle sport. Um, I personally, I'm a big fan of American muscle and sport cars. Uh, you know, if I had to pick an antique car aside from a Datsun 240Z, I would definitely be picking the Daytona Charger, otherwise known as a Plymouth Superbird, depending on whose conversation you're in. So, you know, that's just to give you an example, you know. Uh, for Ish, I have no idea what exactly he would pick. I can't really speak for him on the antique car side of things. Uh, more than likely, personally, I think he would be in towards the Mopar, you know, Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger, maybe even the SS Dart from back in the day, back when the Dart was something to be scared of, not something to sit there and go, what is that? The, I'll, I'll, let's be honest, the new uh, Dart is more or less a Dodge Neon with a new styling. That's, that's more or less what that car is, which for those of us that have seen old school Darts, uh, and know what they were capable of. We're kind of disappointed by it. I'm just saying. I mean, it's good for the time because it's, you know, fuel efficient or whatever. But for those of us that grew up with muscle in our veins, it's disappointing to see an epic beast be reduced to a simple tabby. So that's just my thoughts on that. Anyhow, let's get to this car show. Let's talk to some of these drivers and owners and get some history. Every car, every driver of a car has history with their old vehicles. It's just something about it, you know. <clears throat> I know for me, when I get a 240Z and I build it up, I will definitely be going to these car shows uh, to share my story, to share my, my love affair with the real 240. So... Anyhow, let's let's get to this car show. Let's check this stuff out, people. There's approximately four, well, really it's like six blocks, but four blocks of Leesburg set up for this event. Um, looks like part of West Loudon, East Market Street, and King Street. And yeah, I'm excited for this. I wish the car could show up. It's a matter of time. You know, you just gotta be patient, I guess. But there's already a few vehicles coming, so it's gonna be a good time. I'm excited for this. I haven't been to a car show in ages.
change LEDs. Nice. Deal. They even have the phone. <laughs> That's awesome. Someday I will get my hands on one of those. Man, it's in really nice shape too. The one car I'm actually wanting to see. When I turned 16, my first car was a 72 that was okay. black with a red interior and I've pretty much owned this car all my life. <laughs> nice. I had to get rid of the white one in, in 91 because it just rusted away. They weren't much for corrosion control. Gotcha. Went into bing.com and, and Just to see what was there? Yep, and just search 240Z. So Everybody loves a 240. <laughs> this guy's the owner. He's telling me that there's only been one other owner since he's picked this thing up. And everything is original. The only thing that's newer is that rad. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think I've spent about like 30 minutes talking just to the Datsun guy. He's the only Datsun at this event today. I'm loving it. It's awesome. There's a ton of people out here. I mean, look at this. They're all on the other side of town, but it's cool. This is amazing. Uh, and I need some water, so we're going to get some water and then we'll talk more. Charger! One of my favorites. And then followed by one of Isha's favorites. Look at this. Look at this. That thing is gorgeous. And check this out, dude. What? Flourish, but that's still tight, man. That thing is done. Slammed. Oh. Individual ITBs and everything, man. This thing's cool. 3000 Mark II. Awesome car. No, it's a photographer's around. This thing is awesome, man. I don't think he can go any lower. <laughs> kid the GTO judge was my favorite but the original GTO as I've gotten older has become my favorite oh, look at that thing man wow it's huge I think my car weighs less than that engine does <laughs> it's the drag car they told me about at the top of the street I think it's nuts dude crazy loud Everybody stopping for this guy. I gotta be a V8. That is the coolest lift up system ever. Look at that. This poles. Holding up a cowl induction hood. That's amazing. So much better in person than it does on video. Once upon a time, I was the neighbor to this guy, and every weekend I would see him pull this thing out, and I would sit there and gawk at it. Good old Ferrari Testarossa, one of the few I can actually identify without a badge on it. Man. I just now got back in my car, uh, just because sadly it's starting to rain, which is really depressing. But this show was actually really nice. Uh, I was talking to a few of the guys there. One of them, he's a regular, uh, and usually he brings uh, well, either one or two of his cars with him, you know, 
I mean, this type of stuff, it's a culture. It's, it's a lifestyle to be a car guy. You don't just call it, oh yeah, I like cars. No, you're like, you're invested in this. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it was really cool to see the cars I saw. Uh, I saw my neighbor from back in the day, which was funny because he was parked with his Testarossa. Y'all saw that, it was, it was just cool. I was like, hey, yeah, I've seen this car a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm just about to head home and just sit there and gawk and go, I need to buy a 240Z and I need to find one fast. <laughs> just cause again, car life it is what it is. I mean, seeing the one there today and it was the same series that the one that I might be getting it is, it's just, it's humbling. At the same time, it's awesome to see, you know, I mean, I'm, I count myself blessed to be able to see this because stuff like this, it doesn't happen every day. And yes, I am sweating because it is hot as crap outside. And again, my shirt, everyone loved. Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> every now and again, I would pass someone and be like, amen, bro, amen, or love the shirt, or you tell it, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's just kind of cool. You can be a car guy and a Christian at the same time. Let's just put that out there and let's get that out the way. You can be a car guy and a Christian at the same time. But uh, yeah, let's, let's head on home. Leesburg Car Show, it's been real, it's been fun. And yeah, we'll have to come to another car show, guys, because I was told that this one's predominantly American cars. Um, obviously, me being the JDM fanboy that I am, when I saw a Japanese car, I was like, oh, I need to go to see this. So I spent probably a good 30, 40 minutes just in front of the one car. <laughs> I would stay longer if I could, but I can't. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Car Rant. Uh, again, it's good to be back in the States. Good to be home. And we will see you on another episode of Car Rant, guys. Peace out. Okay, kid you not, I just drifted the Civic. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, it's front wheel drive, and I got it to drift. <laughs> yeah! I'm never going to do it again, not until I get a reinforced chassis and all that other fun stuff. I'm gonna let my engine breathe a little bit and change the filter, because this filter is dirty, and I have a second one now, so. Yeah, anyhow. Peace out, guys. God bless y'all.